Okay, everything should be recording properly. Mic is unmuted. So let's get right into it. This is very odd. When we fell into a thirsta, uh, there was no water. Or maybe there was, and you just weren't paying attention. I wonder if we really fell. Maybe we fell upside down. Maybe the magic door into a thirsta is underwater. Hmm. Are these my pills? Wow, but where are they going? Only one way to find out. Home. I guess home is in that direction. But maybe it's not for me. The sign looks too old. But it has to be. Besides, if it's not, it would lead me somewhere anyway. Hmm, delicious berries. I don't think these are on fire. They are regular berries then, not fire berries. Anything? Hmm, I wonder if those berries are good to eat. Even if they are, I can't reach them. Kitty could climb to them, but he wouldn't know how to get down. Yes, he would. Pills, don't move. Uh, wh you want to show me the way back home? This is a trap. So, yeah. Oh no, I shouldn't have touched the pills. Bad, Fran. Bad, bad. Um, knife. Actually, before I do that, I want to examine this box. I wonder why Palantras gave me this. I can't open it. Maybe there's a secret code or something. Or maybe it can't be opened at all. Okay, so let's use the knife on the net trap. Oh, Skelly Man. Fran, you're already here. Well, I wasn't expecting you until 2.35. And as I see it, you are not trapped anymore. Interesting. Anyway, let me introduce myself. I am Itward, your faithful friend. Itward, do I know you from somewhere? You seem familiar. Yes, you've seen him like a couple times. You saw him in the hospital and you saw him in the twins' house. Yes, I'm the creature of the night. We've been playing together. I helped you to get Mr. Midnight back, you see? Really? Huh, I think I managed quite well to find my kitty on my own. B.S. Hey, aren't you the one that made the sisters mad? Yes. No, it wasn't me making the sisters mad. They believed it was me. You see, but that's because they never looked into themselves. What do you mean by they never looked into themselves? They blamed me instead of facing the fact that their parents never loved them. But let's stop talking about the sisters, shall we? Don't you recognize me, dear Fran, the long man with the, with the top hat? I always came by night and told you stories when you were just a little baby. I came to you after you, after you imagined me. But I'm not imaginary. You see, I'm part of your reality. Did I imagine you? You look quite familiar, yes, I can't deny that. I exist because you exist. The truth is that you were able to imagine me because I already existed. Anyway, we don't have time to talk about this right now. Actually, I'm here to take you home. Follow me. Take me home? I can't let you do that. I don't know you. I won't hurt you. I'm not made out of darkness. I'm your friend. Hmm, alright, you seem nice. I'll go with you, but I won't trust you yet. Stranger danger. That's fine. Come on now, I have something to show you. Oh, he's a very tall skelly man. Goodbye then. Behold, the Edward flying machine. What do you think? <clears throat> um, I love it. It has many buttons to push. Yes, with this gorgeous piece of machinery, I'll take you home. 
We'll fly as soon as I fix the details. Besides, it's not 2.35 yet. That sounds great, but what is it about 2.35, sir? I don't understand. It's when time becomes slower, and that gives us a chance to enter the Ultra Reality. Inside the Ultra Reality, we can travel wherever we want to go. Right now, we are standing on the endless limits of the second reality. But you are part of the third reality. Do you understand? Yes, I do understand. It sounds insane. Okay, then. But sir, should I just wait until you are done fixing the machine? Wait, of course not. You can't help- You can help by getting water and fireberries, alright? Alright, it's better to do something than nothing at all, I guess. Great! Here is my amazing handmade bucket for the water. I made it myself. Okay. Ah, and the fireberries. You'll realize which berries to pick up because of the fire. Alright, but sir, can I just ask, why do you need the berries in the water? Because we're gonna get hungry on the way. Ah, well, the berries are incredible good fuel. They last many, many hours. And the water is to get rid of the dirt. The Kamalas. Oh, Kamalas, I see. I hope they don't come around the flying machine. We never know, but we do know that they don't like water, yes? Oh, darling, I almost forgot. Your medicine, you need it. Some things are still invisible to your eyes, you see. Here. There we go. Invisible to my eyes? Hmm, I see. Well, thank you. I was trying to catch the pills earlier, but the, tra but the trap caught me first. Oh, yes, about that. I'm sorry, I needed to get your attention somehow. It's okay, sir. I defeated the trap, like, in one second. Yeah, I have lightning... Lightning, uh... Quick skills. Anyway, I'll go get the fireberries in the water. I'll be right back. Great, I'll be preparing the machine. Hmm, I wonder what this lever does. Up and down. Nothing happened. Again. Ha! Maybe it's supposed to do nothing. Hello? I think I hear something. Wow, a mechanical bird. This is grand. Hmm, delicious berries. Oh, okay, same thing. Um. He's gonna, probably gonna be... I was just gonna say he was probably dead, but that's terrifying. Am I nutritious? I bet I am. Tasty fresh flesh. Mmm. What the fuck is wrong with you? You are the Kamalas, aren't you? Can you talk? Hello? You, I look com completely deformed. I wonder if this friend is really me, but from some other place. Who took you here? Or is it me visiting you in the other reality? Wow, so much hair. It's so shiny. I feel like in a magical world. In I feel like I'm in a magical world of ha hair. Okay. God, this is creepy. Get out! Get out! You are trespassing on my territory! Huh? Excuse me, I thought you were dead. How could you possibly think that? You have no manners, young lady! I'm very sorry, but you seem to be all rotten and bloody. Me? Rotten and bloody? I think you are misunderstanding the situation. Why do you say that, Mr. Moose? Mr. Moose? But I'm not a moose. I'm a deadly worm. Excuse me, a deadly worm? No, no, not a deadly worm, a deadly worm. I don't go around killing creatures. I just get back to the soil what creatures took from it and don't need anymore. But I only see a talking moose. Where are you? Oh, hi. Down here, creature. Can't you see me? Oh, there you are. You are so tiny. Hello, my name is Fran. Hello, Fran. Can I ask, why did you touch the moose in the first place? Because she's a crazy little girl. Normally, only scavengers would touch dead animals. Are you one? Of course not. I was trying to see if I could climb on it to reach the fireberries. 
I see. I think it's possible. The moose is still very sturdy and solid. But the fireberries are on fire. You can hurt yourself. Yes, I see the fire, but I had to take them somehow. Good luck with that! Climb on now! I'll keep working. Thank you, sir. Probably gonna be really hot. Can't take the fireberries, they are on fire. I can't just pull them off with my hands, they are firmly attached. Okay, use this. Okay. Oh dear height, I can't jump down, I could break my legs. Okay. I have the fireberries now. Get out, scavengers! Deadly worm, sir, will you come to visit me when I die? I always come to visit those whom time has left behind, don't worry. That sounds good, we'll see, we we'll see each other again when I'm very old. I'm about to turn 11 years old soon, but that's not too old, so not yet. I'll see you when the circumstances are right. Hell, well, I don't want to go there. This sign is a bit confusing. It has two destinations. Okay. Oh, hi. Hello, are you those shiny insects that get stuck on trees because of curiosity? We usually get stuck, yes. How do you know this? You are not one of us. I met some of, you, some of your kind before. I helped to get them free from curiosity. Oh, that is very nice of you. Curiosity can lead us to unexpected situations. Yes, I think curiosity is a good thing, but are you stuck? Not at all. We're just trying to make our hair the longest hair ever. Wow, that sounds amazing. Good luck. I have to go now. Goodbye. Oh no, I can't reach the water from here. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I'm stupid. I need help, please. Would you allow me to tie this bucket to your beautiful hair? Tie a bucket to our hair? Why? That sounds insane. Oh, it's not insane at all. I need water from under the cliff, but I can't reach it. I need to use your beautiful long hair as a rope. Please help me. Alright, we'll help you. Tie the bucket real tight. Oh, thank you. You're very nice. Fill up the whole bucket, please. Oh, okay. I thought I had to do that. The bucket is now full of water. Ah, oh, thank you, shiny insects. I have to go now. I have to go home. Home is somewhere we all wish to belong, but does home belong somewhere? What? I'm sorry, I didn't really understand the question. It was a rhetorical question. I just wanted to say that you are your own home. Welcome yourself inside. You will find many doors to open. Oh, that sounds mysterious and beautiful. I'll try to do that some other time. Goodbye. This bucket is full of water. It doesn't weigh anything. Okay, I have the things you needed, um, it word. Sir Edward, here's the bucket full of water. I got help from the shiny insects. You mean the loose ferns? They are nice, yes, but only when you see them in this reality. This, they're very dangerous if you ever see them in the fifth reality. They can burn you. Wow, burn me? Well, I haven't been into the fifth reality yet. I don't recommend it. What's reasonable there may be the worst you will ever experience. Oh, I forgot to thank you for the water. Thank you, friend. Okay, now I have the fireberries. Sir, I brought the fireberries, but they are not on fire anymore. Magnificent! They would do just fine. Thank you very much, my darling. Ah, friend, it's 2.34. The journey will begin. Let's go inside the machine. Wow, you didn't even duck. You just walked right through it. Boo. 
And then Mr. Midnight gets left behind. He's like, wait a minute. Okay. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. It's 2.36. We have a great possibility of reaching the target in good condition. We'll soon be on our way to the third reality. Are you excited, Fran? Maybe I would be excited if I could understand more about the realities. You'll soon understand the answers are not easy to recognize. Huh, that sounds strange to me, sir. Time goes as it has to in order for you to be alive. If it all happened now, you'd probably explode. Are you telling me that the answers I'm looking for will come to me when they want? Not exactly. You know what? I'd rather say, through time, you have to explore and experience to understand. This means the answers will come when you find them. Not when others tell you how or where to find them. Ah, I see. Well, I'm excited now. You woke up my curi cur curiousness. Can't speak. That's the best thing you can do for yourself. Be curious and you'll always be amazed. But now, friend, we have to get things done. Talking won't take you home. What thing, sir? The machine needs some maintenance and I think you would do incredible work. Here are the fireberries and the water you gathered before. Okay. You'll need them to get the water pump working again and the fuel mixed. You'll find all information you need when you enter the room to the left. But feel free to enter any room you wish. I'll be quite busy fixing the automatic driver. But if you have something to ask, I'll be there. I'll be here. Hmm, but I've never done anything like this before. That makes it more exciting. Have fun, my darling. Alright, I'll go now. now. Let me look around first. I wonder what this machine does. It does for sure many things or nothing at all. Things move and rotate, that's all I see. Oh, this looks very complicated. Hmm, I'm not interested of knowing what it is. Maybe some other time. Okay. I think Itward has style. He likes things that I also like. All these details make me wonder. Okay. Kamala Hunt. Get ready. It could be great if you could go the way I'm like facing, but whatever. Okay, I'm not gonna play that right now. Ah, I know what this is, a compass. Hmm, but this one seems to be very confused. It shows north and south at the same time. Okay. Hello, Fran speaking. Huh, nobody answers me. Anyways, I can always talk to myself. Yeah, because you're crazy. Huh, a feather, like the great wizard's riddle. The pen of men and the freedom of birds, yes. I think I knew the answer even before reading the riddle. Feet, one foot with a shoe. One foot without a shoe. I see a thirst of language again. I wonder what it says. Is that foot flesh on the shoe sole? Hmm. What is wrong with you? A wooden foot. It reminds me of me when I was a tree. I guess it's used as a model for making shoes. Inward shoes are very pretty. A hammer. Obviously to hammer stuff. Well, not if you wanted to use the hammer for something else. 
But for what? Nah, I'll just leave it there. Ah, okay. I'll keep this. Duct tape is always good to fix stuff. Okay. Hmm, this music makes me think of forks. Maybe it's done with forks. You never know. Oh, now he's a clown. That's rather creepy. Maybe I should push the button to open the door. Oh, it's the mechanical cat. Interesting. Well, that's a huge spinning top. I'm guessing this may be the engine. I really like the design. It's very understandable. Okay. The compass goes in circles. Upside down in nowhere. Okay. These lights show for, sh for sure that something is working. Alrighty then. Huh. Looks like some kind of water pump. Okay. I don't understand the language, but at least there's drawings. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna take a picture of this just in case I need it. Um. Okay. So, okay. I don't think this is anything. I don't think. Pump is now filled with water. Okay, so I need to use this on here. I guess if the light is red, it's not working. Do I need to use this here? No, um... Huh, okay. Okay, so it has to be like this. Um, okay, so it has to be like that. Oh, I need to light this. There we go. There we go. Um, okay, so I need to take a picture of this as well. Um... Should be turned on in order for it to work. Okay. Um. Okay, so I don't need that anymore. I don't think. Do I need um I don't exactly understand what this wants for me AFM missing okay I think I might come back to this 
Hmm, are those to drink water? Drink water, these are quite small. Maybe they're for very small amounts of water. Okay. This has no flowers. Okay. Oh, so many pages to read. I hope they have pictures. Was that nothing? Okay. I wonder if Edward really does love black cats. Maybe. It feels like something is missing. Yeah, a key. Probably anyways. This looks like a mathematical problem. Okay, can I do it? What does this want for me then? The door is closed. Maybe it work can open it later. Or maybe I have to do that. No. Hmm. Oh, hi. Are you, are you here, here to kill Edward? Hello, why won't you talk to me? I'm, s I'm very sorry for what I did. I hope you can forgive me. That's creepy. Okay, I have the, the key now. I don't know if it goes here or not. It does. In a world made of darkness and light. Two little sisters tried to steal each other's charm. But none of the sides could decide. If what they were was just right. Mia was angry and Clara was sad. And this was because they were both mad. Oh insane little girls. Inside of their minds, it were the creature of the night. He came always around in dreams of reality, teaching the girls the splendor of duality, but they couldn't understand. It word was a friend. It word was the link between darkness and light. He was gray. But Clara and Mia one one day decided to get rid of Itward once and for all. Die creature of the night, die they said. But they killed each other instead. Dead and gone. The sisters kept complaining about each other. It's all your fault, Clara. It's all your fault, Mia. Then Itward came to visit for the last time. And he said, You are both trapped. In the world of disconnections. But I'll give you a chance. The world has been mean to you. They sold your bodies together. To prove that they could. They gave you a mirror to compare yourselves. I'll give you nothing but what you already have. And just one tiny little chance. To understand the purpose of life. But the clock is ticking. You have until the day a black cat goes missing. And the whale's magic door is unlocked. The end. Okay. What did that do for me? 
I don't know what that did for me. Hmm. So, did I switch? I don't remember. No, no, I did not. Seconds and minutes and hours and days. Tick tock, tick tock. I forgot to understand you. I forgot to give myself some love. Ah, there we go. So... Okay. Um, I think this is right. Yes, it is. So, okay. What do you have inside, little bottle? Um... I don't know what this wants from me. Mi micronutrients and fire berries will supercharge an engine and ensure it lasts forever. Uh. Oh. Maybe? Yep. The fire berries that aren't in on fire into the vase. Okay, what does this want from me? Hold on. I don't exactly know what this wants from me. Okay, for the sake of time, I don't exactly know what this wants for me. Um... Wait. Oh, wait. Okay, I was looking at the wrong thing. Okay.
Okay. Oh. Or aren't I stupid? I just had to drag it. Okay. So eight eighteen goes there. Um Okay. Um Wait. I'm confused what this wants for me exactly. Yeah, I don't exactly know what this wants from me. What? Eight eighteen two PF R fifteen. And one sixty six. Did I do this wrong? I don't know if I did this wrong. I'm confused. Unless I did something wrong here. No, it's green, so... I'm confused what this wants from me. Because... It's not very clear. Like it's supposed to do that, but I'm not entirely sure. Is there like another another thing that I'm missing? I'm not entirely sure. Um, insert the four hoses. It was blue, orange, pink, and green, wasn't it? I don't remember. Unless there's another one that I'm just missing. Hold on.
I'm so confused. Unless... No, I was gonna say, unless I have to do that. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. There we go. I'm stupid. For some reason, I couldn't see that. I think it's done. Super Chemistry Master Fran Bow. There we go. I'm stupid. That took way too long. Fran, I finally managed to fix the automatic driver. Do you need help? I think I managed myself quite well, too. I did all you asked f of me. Very well, Fran. Everything seems to be working perfectly. Yes, everything looks absolutely great. What should we do now, sir? Well, I wanted to ask you if you are, are afraid of rabbits. There is a little rabbit in one of the rooms, and I'm, uh... I'm deeply afraid of it. Would you like to help me get rid of it? A rabbit? I guess it depends on the rabbit, sir. With all things I've seen, I can't just imagine one kind of rabbit. Is it the chocolate rabbit, or one with horns and killer eyes? You have to see it for yourself. It has a pink nose and blue boots. It's just sitting there. No blinking, no movement. It's staring all the time. It does sound very scary, sir, but show it to me, otherwise I would never know. Bravo, you are, dear. Follow me. Follow me now. There, see? It's just sitting there. Isn't that a, a strange behavior? From what I see, it's just a toy, sir. It won't move. Would you please try and make contact with it? I don't dare touch it. Alright, sir. I'll take the rabbit and show you there's nothing to be afraid of. Okay. See, it's just a fluffy rabbit. Nothing to be afraid of. Oh, you're right, friend. There's nothing to be afraid of. Uh-oh. What? Don't go, Mr. Midnight. This is not funny. Uh oh. Am I locked in here now? The battery of some sort. Looks like the machine needs some energy to wake up. The battery. Negative. Hmm. Oh, I need some screws, it seems. Huh. So, what does this want for me? Hmm, hello, are you it was on the head? I like the hat. White. It would made a paper bow. Green leaves, okay. What a lovely little tree. So what does this want for me then? Hmm. Maybe use the knife on the screws? I'm not entirely sure what this is asking of me.
There's some, um... There's some numbers all over the place I didn't realize. Mr. Midnight, say something, please. Don't take my kitty away from me again. The one... Two... Three... And, uh... Four... Wait, is there... Is there a uh, thing? An A des. Try. Crat, no. Mm, okay. Oh, there's a fifth card? Where's the fifth card? Oh, fifth card is up here. I didn't even realize. Wait. Even the panel on the back wall. Okay. Where do I get a wrench? Was there a wrench on the table and I just didn't see it? Oh, I'm stupid. I'm completely blind. I didn't even see it in the foreground because it was blending in. I'm stupid. Ah. Okay. Isn't it Lefty Lucy? There we go. There we go. If I put the battery in there. Yes, it works. Do I not put the panel back on? Ah, there we go. There we go. Uh-oh. That doesn't seem good. Are you... Gross. Mommy? Daddy? Who did this to you? Why are you here? Please tell me. Hmm. Yes, this is connected so to something. Okay. Is this to make music with the wind? Now let me... I don't understand. I don't understand what this is asking of me. I don't know. For the sake of time and posterity, I'm just gonna do this. Five, six, seven, 
eight, five, five, six, seven, eight, two, five, six, or five, six. Like I would say, hmm, this is locked. Surprise, friend! Happy birthday! Oh, a birthday party? Whoa, I thought you wanted to kill Mr. Midnight. You lied to me. We lied to you in order to keep your attention in, an in another direction. I'm very sorry I had to fool you, my, fool you, my friend. We wanted to surprise you, my dear friend. Come and eat cake. Alright, thank you, Kitty. You really surprised me. Thank you, Itward, sir. The cake is made of all ingredients you like. Mr. Midnight told me which ones. And we have something very special for you from all members of the ship. That means all of us naturally born or handmade beings. Here you go. I hope you find it educational. What is that? Wow, I love the wrapping. Can I open it now, please? Yes, go ahead. Open it. Do I have to... No. Oh, it's a cat plush. Wow, a cat doll. Aw, thank you so much. I love it. It's beautiful. It may give your eyes a new perception, you know, like the ultra-reality. Is that what happens when I take the red pill, sir? Is the ultra-reality what I see? Well, it depends. Would you like some explanations? Yes, please. Look, what you've seen is a mixture of different realities. And the ultra reality is like an invisible room where everything exists at the same time. For example, at this exact coordinate of time and space, we're having a birthday party. But in the ultra reality, other things are happening all the time. Slower, faster, or just invisible to the human eye. It's because of time, humans can't define past, present, and future. Defining things encapsulates reality. It gives huma humans a chance to understand their environment. You have a different perception of the environment. It's not linked to definitions. Do you understand what I say? I'm not sure, sir. I think maybe. I feel a bit dizzy. Ah, ha ha ha. That may be the ship going up and down. Blow on the candles now, dear. We're about to reach our destination. You mean we are about to get home? Did you hear that, kitty? Yes, we are about to arrive. Really? Wow, how exciting. Alright, here I go. Uh-oh. Oh no, 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 no. Oh dear, what's happening? Mr. Midnight, are you alright? I'm alright, but I hope the ship won't break. It sounds dangerous. Friend, you have to help. I have to drive the machine again. The automatic driver was destroyed by the Kamalas. There is one left alive. You have to get rid of it. Find it. Fast. How do I do that, sir? Water. That cleans the dirt. Hurry up now. Remember, it may be hiding from your eyes. Oh my goodness, Kitty, I'm scared. Me too, my friend. We have to find the Kamala. I really hope the water destroys it. Let's go. Do I have water in this bucket? The handmade bucket. It would made it. It's empty. Where do I get water? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know where some water is. Actually, hold on. There's an achievement where you feed a rabbit three carrots or something. No, but like really, where do I get... Water. I have no idea. 
A teapot water thrower. This is massive and dangerous weapon. There we go. Oh, there's the rabbit. The carrot for the big, big robot rabbit. Yeah, I'll just do four just in case. I know there's an achievement for it, so I might as well just do this. Okay, I'll let him finish it and then I'll move forward. Okay, the sisters. There you are. Ah, uh, don't run away. Where are you going? He's probably going to the roof. I had to take a gas. Oh, there's no more buckets. Please don't move. I have to pour some water on you. Wait, where's the bucket? Did I drop the bucket? Where did the bucket go? I don't have the bucket anymore. Oh, maybe, maybe, um, when I do the thing, it'll, um, the wind will push it. Yep, there we go. Dang it. I think I finally got rid of the Kamala. I'm the best. I should go back to Itward. Edward, sir, we did it. The Kamala is gone. It's gone, yes, but it's too late, dear. I can't take you home. We are going down. No, please, don't tell me this. It's not fair. Not fair. I will always take care of you, my dear. Aww. Boom. And the ship was going down until it crashed. Everything was destroyed. The end. That's not the end. That is a very sad... That is a very sad ending, It were Tell me another story, please. Alright, this is the story of friend Bo and me. When she promised never to forget at me or about the magic of everything. <laughs> I promise it, Word. I'll never forget you. Well, that was a lie. Good night. It's time to sleep. Expect me in your dreams, my friend. Chapter 4, Part 2, Doctor's Prescription Oh, hi, Mr. Dear Man. Where did Itward go? Itward? 
Oh, Kitty, we are alive. We survived the crash. Oh dear, yes, we are alive. Hmm, but Edward is gone. But he brought us home. We are outside the town, Fran. I can smell it. Are you sure, Kitty? Are we already home? I thought you would be happier about it. What is it? It's just that I wonder where Edward is. I wish I could say goodbye. Maybe you can take the medicine to see him again. Yes, Kitty, but I took all the pills already. You see, the bottle is empty. Anyway, let's go home. Maybe Edward will come to me someday. Okay, I'm going to check to see how long I've been going for. An hour. Okay, I'll keep going. Hold on. Hold on. Because I'm going to have to cut it. A red bicycle. Is this Edward's bicycle or mine? Anyway, it's broken, so I can't ride it. I would need Edward to fix it. He had a lot of tools, but he's gone. Okay, there's nothing. Oh my goodness, this is our street, Kitty. Hay Street. Yes, it is. Okay. Is there anything here? No. And here we are. This looks much more gray than I remembered. Well, I hope I hope Aunt Grace will be happy to see me. Aunt Grace, hello. Maybe she's not home, dear. Do you have the key to go inside? No, I don't have it, Kitty, but I know there's a hidden key somewhere. I just need to remember where. Hmm, let's find it. Oh, I'm sorry, little insects. Don't run away. Oh. Ah, uh, no key. What is this, a note? It says, I took the key, signed Fran. Fran, that's me. But I haven't taken the key, and I didn't write that note. This is all so confusing. What should I do now? What are you doing? Where are you going? Come here, kitty. You must climb and go through the window. I couldn't find the key, and it seems that I already took it. You already took the key, but you don't have it. That sounds very strange. Yes, it's very strange. I only found a note that I don't remember writing. But now in order to get inside, Kitty, you must climb and open the door for me. Ah, uh, alright then. Wish me luck. You can do it, Kitty. Be careful. It's not gonna be that easy, I can tell. Mr. Midnight, do you hear me? Kitty, open the door. Uh-oh. The doctor. Fran, I can't believe this. You are alive. Where were you? Dr. Dearn, I'm fine. Please don't take me back to the asylum. I've been looking for you a long time now. How did you escape? I, uh, escaped through the yellow door, sir. Hmm, but why are you outside the house? Well, I don't have the key, but Mr. Midnight is inside now. He climbed and went through the window of the second floor, sir. Mr. Midnight, isn't that your missing cat? Yes, but we found each other in the end. Sir, may I ask why you are here? I came to meet Miss Grace. I have something very important to tell her. I think she's not at home, sir. Well, it may be better this way. You have to come with me then. No, I won't leave my kitty again. Let's wait until he opens the door. Fran, I don't believe your cat is inside the house. That's impossible. I'm telling you the truth. He is inside. He will open the door in a minute. Um, okay. Stop it, Fran. Face reality. Your cat is dead. You must come with me now.
Rest in peace, Mr. Midnight. Uh oh. That's not good. I'm sorry, Fran. I don't want to hurt you or scare you. I'm just worried about Mr. Midnight, sir. You made me leave him. Is he really alive? Of course he is, sir. Why would I lie about it? This feels so wrong. You know, Fran, I was fired from the asylum because I knew too much. I have found things that I do not understand yet. I really thought you were dead. Look at these documents. Uh, family murder on Hayes Street. The bodies were perfectly sliced. Martin and Lucia Bo Dagenhart were found early this week. Brutally murdered in their residence on Hayes Street. The investigating police officer, Mark Marco Homa, said, It seems that the bodies were perfectly sliced, which would cause a quick, instantaneous death. Also, there were no signs of a struggle in the house, so the victims must have been caught completely by surprise and were unable to fight back. The police interrogated Grace Dagenhart, Lucia's twin sister, but the police didn't find any useful information. The youngest in the family... Fran Bo was found in the woods one day after her parents' murder. She froze to death. Interesting. Uh, Gladys Hannah. Dear Gladys, let the newspaper know about Fran Bo. She was found in the woods, frozen to death. She ran away from home after finding about her parents' murder. Beloved Fran Bo, 12-17-1934. Dead, 7-22-1944. So she wasn't even 10 years old yet, it seems. Uh, Fran is now free from all pain. We hope you reunite with your family in heaven. But I'm not dead, sir. This is all lies. I see that. I also found out that your med medicine was switched. You were given a new variant of duotine. When I looked at it in the laboratory, the levels of ectoplomatin were too high. That can't be good. Ectoplomatin creates a door between the subconscious and conscious. The problem is, if the ectoplomatin is too high, the door will be too wide. That can create a great confusion in your brain. A great confusion in my brain? I'm a bit confused, yes. But that's because of all the new things that I can see and feel. What do you mean, Fran? I can see the ultra reality, sir, and also travel into other worlds. Ultra reality? That must be the consequences of duotine, nothing more. That is not true. If I had some more medicine, I could show you. You don't need that medicine anymore. Besides, it's all in your head, Fran. All in my head, you say? Then I may be able to control it. I mean that you are imagining things, that's all. I try to tell my mother the truth, but father would harm her as well. I don't want my mo I don't want my father playing with his knife again. My arms hurt. Oh, did your father harm you with his knife, doctor? What? Who told you that? You did, or didn't you, sir? I um uh, haven't said anything about it. Oh my goodness, then it's true. Oh please, let's focus. But you're not listening to me, sir. We need to find out the truth. I wonder who is behind all this. The nurses? Oswald? Who knows? I do know, sir. It's the big black monster, Remor. He took my parents and now he hunts me. He wants me dead. He wants me dead, 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 Sorry. Oh, I wish I stayed in a thirster with Palantris and the Great Wizard. What are you talking about? Please, Fran, I'm serious. I never said goodbye to Itward or Palantras, and my kitty is all alone. Palantras, Itward, please, Fran. Palantras is the doctor of Thursta. He's a flying creature, very fluffy, sir. And Itward is my faithful friend. He brought me home with his machine. Seems you have been living inside a fairy tale. It wasn't good all the time, sir. The twins are gone because of me. I saw myself killing Mr. Midnight, and I saw mother and father, too. The twins? What twins? 
the girls that were attached to each other. Attached, you say? That reminds me of the Clara and Mia case. Two girls in the asylum that claimed to see a creature named Edward or something. Edward? I think you are misunderstanding, sir. It's Edward. But what happened to these girls? Dr. Oswald was experimenting on them. He sold them together. Mostly to see the reactions of the DNA, but nothing happened. A few months later, they died and their bodies were thrown into a well. That is awful, sir. You can't take me back to the asylum. Don't worry, I won't. I brought you with me so you can help me. Maybe we can find something that will lead us to those responsible for all this disgrace. Thank you, doctor. Maybe Palantras was right about you. You are not a bad doctor, you're just an old man following the rules. Following the rules? Well, not tonight. Hmm. Here we are. But this is the cemetery, sir. What are we doing here? You'll see. Come on, follow me. Wow, hello, Stone Woman. Are you ha are you sleeping? Are you happy? You're scary. I wish I had wings like you, but I don't. Okay. This is your parents' resting place, and also yours. Why did you bring me here, sir? I'm sorry, friend, but things are how they are, and your parents were killed. Knowing who killed them can help us make things right. What do you mean by right, sir? I mean that if we can find the guilty ones, we will have justice. Use the law to punish such behaviors and prevent others from being harmed. I understand, sir, and for what did you need my help? To find clues and evidence, we need to open the coffins. Alright, sir, I'll help. Maybe the deadly worms came already. Who? Hmm, oh, anyway, we have to find shovels to dig. I'll go left and you can go right. I'll see you, in, I'll see you in a few minutes, right here, alright? Yes, Dr. Deeran, I'll see you soon. And he's gonna leave me here. Goodbye. I wonder what the lady has hidden between her hands. Is it a little bug? How strange. Okay. Little candle, keep my parents warm. Oh lovely little bear, you must take care of my parents. A rose, this is for the bad smell of the, or of the rotten bodies. Hello father, I know you didn't choose to leave me. So I'm not angry at you anymore, but I miss you a lot. I promise I will be happy. It isn't fair to be sad all the time. I thank you for all the beautiful memories, Daddy. I'll love you forever. Mommy, this is very hard, knowing that you're not around anymore. That really makes me feel lost in the world. But I promise I'll do my best. I'll be happy, Mommy. I love you so much, Mommy, and I always will. Goodbye. Grand Bo, huh? I wonder who came up with a lie like this one. Now I remember seeing myself dead in the asylum. But why? Why just me? I know the big monster wants me dead. Well, but what does the asylum have to do with the monster? Hmm. Okay. No name, no flowers. Maybe nobody is down there. But nobody likes to be dead, so that's great. I think nobody wishes to be alone, so I'm leaving. Okay. Twitter stinks! I'm leaving! Oh, it's stuck. This- Wait. This must be the shovel storage room. Just my luck. Well, there must be a way to open it. Knife. A knife! Okay. So... Ah, crowbar. I hope the doctor doesn't mind if I take it. I never touched a steering wheel before. Father never allowed that. But now I'm on my own, so I can. Vroom vroom! I can't press the horn. If the doctor knows that I'm here, I'll be in trouble. Hmm, the gearbox. I wonder if it has little secrets inside. 
It can't be good to press all the buttons. Nothing happens though. Okay. The car seats are quite comfortable. I'm glad it's not real leather. It's more friendly. If it was real leather, it would be like using dead bodies. Ew. Okay, so now I have a crowbar. I can use it for the door. <clears throat> Pinecone man. Shh. You had to keep it down, Fabio. Oh, uh, but I'm not Fabio. I'm Fran. Hello, little Pinecone. What? Oh my goodness, a giant! Oh, please, don't be scared. I won't harm you. I thought no giants could see us! I think I can see you because I have very big eyes, you see? Oh, I see! I'm Sebastian, by the way. The tribe's collector! The tribe's collector? That sounds exciting. Right now, we are trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for the mating ritual. Oh, that's quite interesting. Shiny leather, hmm? Yes, last year we used old human skin, but the deadly worms wanted it back. So we are looking for something more synthetic. Well, I hope you can find the leather. Um, Sebastian, would you do me a favor? It depends on the favor, giant miss. I was thinking that you can open the door for me from the inside. I could do that, but we can help each other instead. Bring me a piece of leather and I'll open the door. Alright, giant miss? But where will I ever find that? You just saw some. Huh, alright, I'll see what I can do. Whoops, what a big hole I made where I have the leather now. Right. Come on. Well, thank you, Giant Miss. Our tribe, the Pinesilis, will be very happy. And now I'll open the door. Just a second. And he's dead. Ouch, are you alright, Sebastian? Sebastian? I am, uh, I'm alright, miss. Yes. Good, well, thank you. You opened the door. You're welcome, giant miss. Eh? Huh? Fabio? Yeah, you better run. Oh, I have to go, miss. Good night. Hey, Fabio, wait for me. I have the leather. Ah, oh, there's nothing in here I could use. This is not wonderful at all. I need to find something to dig with. I can't dig with a broom. There you are, Fran. Look, I found a I found us a pair of shovels. Let's dig. Okay. I don't know where you got the shovels from. Well, now we'll have to come up with something to open the coffins. They're stuck. I had a crowbar in my car just in case, but I couldn't find it. Oh, I took the crowbar, sir. I needed, to, I needed it to open a door. Do you want it back? No need, Fran, but you can do the honors of opening the coffins. Alright, sir. I'll open them. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. Father, the deadly worms took your eyes. I wish you could talk and tell me who took you away from me. Was it the big bad monster, Daddy? How, how are they, like, put back together like that? It's like, weren't they, like, sliced up into, like, pieces? Oh, mother, you're so skinny. A bit too much, I would say. But I guess you would take that as a compliment, wouldn't you? Is the bed comfortable? Well, sweet dreams, mommy. Okay. Woohoo, I'm not in the coffin. Great, that is not the reaction I expected. But that can't be my kitty because Mr. Midnight is home. Poor kitty, I wonder if you had a name. Well, I'll name you Albert. Did you see anything that could bring us closer to the killer? No, sir. I just feel really bad doing this, seeing my parents like this. Also, that dead cat is not my cat. They're lying. 
Brand, I told you your cat was missing and maybe this one is actually your cat. It can't be, sir. I did find my kitty. You have to believe me. Take me home and I'll show you, please. Alright, Fran, I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. I still need to t find some clues. Thank you, sir. Let's go. I don't like those dots. Uh-oh. Vanish into the hands of darkness! You have no manners. I'm not afraid of you anymore. You hear that? I'm not afraid of you anymore. Ah! I've taken you away from. I've taken away from you the light, the one you love, the one you respect, and the one you desire to love you. That doesn't seem good. You broken little girl! The house of madness invites you inside! If you want to find those you love! In darkness, you must wake up. Wake up now, Fran. Wake up. Chapter 5, The House of Madness. Grace. And Grace, is that you? My darling, you finally woke up. You're at home, my dear. Am I? Really, that's incredible. I'm so happy to see you. Please, give me a hug. Soon, my darling. And where is Mr. Midnight? Your cat? Well, you know he ran away after what he did. What? He ran away? But what did he do? Well, your cat killed my sister and your father. He is a traitor. That's not true. It can't be. He didn't do it. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, we must have a guilty one, right? But you can't blame Mr. Midnight. He is my best friend. But it's easier to blame somebody else than taking responsibility, isn't it? I will always take responsibility for my actions, even if they are not so good. What a good girl. Rest now, my darling. You need it. But Aunt Grace, don't leave me. Why am I chained to the bed? Because your hands do bad things when they are untied. What are you talking about? Uncuff me, now. I have to go find Mr. Midnight. Little, little shining friend, don't you worry about the lies. The seeker of the truth will always die because the evil will never hide. Little, little shining friend, go to bed and sleep tight. And forget the pain inside your mind. You were selected to suffer, to cry and hate. But the darkness wants to free you from all disgrace. Sleep tight, my darling Fran. That doesn't seem good. Oh no, don't leave me here. Aunt Grace, come back, please. Why is she acting so strange? Why blame Mr. Midnight? Kitty couldn't have killed my parents. His claws are so tiny and soft. I hope he is fine, but what should I do now? Tick tock, tick tock. Crazy sound, it never stops. Now that I think about it, the clockmaker said that time is a layered reality. Maybe there's another version of me in this room in another time. Or I'm just imagining things. But if it's true, how can I make contact with her? Dr. Deeren said that everything is in my head. Okay. I think I'm going to call it there because I got through an entire chapter and my voice is kind of going. But um, I think this is the last chapter. Um, and I think it's rather... It's not that long. I think it's maybe like an hour long. Um, I'm unsure, but I think I'm going to call it here. So 
Thank you everyone for watching. I'm not good with outros, so I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye!